Hello, I'm Anke van Wagenberg, the Harold and Anne Berkeley Smith Senior Curator of American and European Art. I welcome you to this exhibition called Artist in Motion. It is a show that we have on loan from the Princeton University Museum of Art and it is the Henry Perlman Collection. The show is called Artists in Motion because this is a show about artists of great prominence who moved from place to place. We have about 40 works in the show of the early 20th century to the middle of the 20th century and it is the first time that the collection is shown in the state of Florida. The really interesting thing is that Henry Perlman and Ralph Norton, the founder of our museum, collected at about the same time. They knew some of the artists that they collected. They were the contemporary artists of the time. There is a lot of overlap between artists we have in the collection right here at the Norton and Henry Perlman's collection. We're very fortunate to have also a series of drawings by Cézanne that are rarely shown. His experimentation in the landscape around Aix-en-Provence, the area where he was living. We start the show with a map and it's really important to see where all these artists came from. And Paris was very much the center of the art world, but there are numerous dots on the map all over Europe. They came from Lithuania and from Belarus and from former Soviet Union. But they also traveled far and wide. I want to share with you this Vincent van Gogh painting that he did in 1888. This Dutch artist had also traveled like the other artists that were in motion. He was encouraged by his brother Theo van Gogh to come to Paris, as Paris was very much the center of the art world. So Vincent followed his brother's advice and Vincent then traveled on and worked for a couple of years in the south of France. And this is where he painted these stagecoaches. He was going to have a visitor and this was Paul Gauguin. And he wanted to welcome Gauguin and planned to do a painting that was this one to welcome Gauguin and to show off his painterly skills. There's a title to the work. It's called The Stagecoaches at Tarascon and Tarascon is the name on the coach here. This was already, by that time, a old-fashioned mode of transportation. The painting describes a very different scene. It's a different image from what Van Gogh had done earlier in his career. Most of his paintings that he did when he was still in the Netherlands, in the south of Holland or the Netherlands, were marked by brown and gray and black tones. His palette completely changed when he went to the south of France and we see these beautiful bright colors. He has a focus on these stagecoaches that he saw in a courtyard at siesta time uh, when people were closing their shutters and taking a little nap in the afternoon in the very hot south of France in the summer. But I also want to point out things that we learn in art school to this day. Uh, about complementary colors on the color wheel, red and green and orange and blue. And Van Gogh was very aware of the use of those colors. The red looks redder next to green and the green looks greener next to red. So he was very aware of that. What we here at the Norton Museum of Art hope that our visitors will take away is this reintroduction of prominent artists that Henry Perlman collected that draw so many parallels with the works that Ralph Norton collected.